Hey, what's going on, guys? Just checking in. Um, just want to talk a little bit about, you know, accepting help, um, asking for help, and being accountable to people. Um, a lot of times, there's like they write books about it, and they're smart because you get paid for it. But it's no like set way to start and successfully run a business. There are some principles that everybody can apply. But every situation is different due to all the different variables. You know, how much money are you starting with? Location, what are you offering? Is it a product? Is it a service? Etc. So, um, by the way, my hands are not on the phone. Shout out to the car mount. Um, so, you know, guys, it's nothing wrong with asking for help. And I'm telling you this, this is something I have to tell myself. Because a lot of times, you know, we always want to be, oh, I'm not expert and I know this or I don't want them to think whatever of me. But, you know, I know for me, I learned pretty early, like, hey, if I can ask for help and it'll help me to be better as long as I truly learn it and don't just take what they say, memorize it and go. You know, there's nothing wrong with asking for help. It doesn't make you any less of a person. It doesn't make you weaker, stupid, dumb, whatever. So, you know, guys, don't be scared to ask for help. You know, in my case with the accounting, sometimes it's something that's a technical question, like strict accounting, and it's like, uh, I think it's this, but I'm not sure because of this, this, and this. And so, you know, I may ask some of my other buddies that are fellow accountants, like, hey, what would you do? How would you handle it? Um, but for me, the real value is coming in terms of asking all those other questions. The questions like, you know, hey, how do you present your proposal? What does your proposal look like? What does your contract look like? How are you marketing? Well, why did you put this up? What was your, what were you aiming to do? How are you tracking this? How are you getting leads? How are you marketing, et cetera, et cetera, right? Because the bottom line is we don't know. And it's 2019, things are always constantly changing, technology. So there's nothing wrong with asking, you know? And then once they tell you, take what they said, once you, you know you tried it, then put your own spin on it. That may be what separates you. So, you know, definitely don't be scared to ask for help. Um, and then don't be scared to be held accountable. You know, it's about, I have a little accountability group where it's about five of us in total, um, different ages, different races, um, different business sizes, different target markets, but we're all in accounting. And every other Friday, we get on a Zoom call for like an hour and a half, and we just go over ideas. Um, every single week, we set goals that we try to meet. Do we always meet them? You know, like I think last week I had like six goals and I went four for six. So do we always meet them? No, but we all talk through them. We ask each other for feedback, ideas. Hey, I saw you did this. What made you do that? Um, and it's a great thing to have just because, you know, it's I've never been a type like, oh, I'm going to have to report to the whatever. Like, no, it's just more so it keeps you on track. You know what you're aiming for, etc. So, guys, don't be scared to have an accountability group. Don't be scared to ask for help because, I mean, if you're doing your own business, you're probably a trailblazer. You know, that's not to say that, oh, there's no other accounting firms, but there may not be any other accounting firms that are doing it like I'm doing it or marketing the way that I'm choosing to market or, you know, trying to add these additional services like I am. You, know, you never know. So never take what you do lightly. Um, never poo-poo on your own stuff because, you know, it's easy to be like, oh, well, you know, I just don't, you know, I, I'm just doing this little basic accounting. No, just because it's easy for you doesn't mean it's easy for everybody else. And you can bring them value, especially if you can communicate that value appropriately, um, concisely, succinctly. You can have that vocabulary. But yeah, I just wanted to encourage you guys, man, that it's okay to ask for help. Sometimes you need it. You know, I can think of like my um, proposal, the way I had my original proposal. Um, I mean, it wasn't bad. It's just not like it is now. Um, you know, and then I tried to switch it up and just send sh a straight contract, you know. Um, so then after that... Um, 
you know, I got with this accountability group and I said, well, hey, I'm about to send one. Well, what do y'all send? And they showed me theirs and I was like, wow, so I can kind of modify mine to look like that. I still have my own specific things in there, but, you know, I feel like it helped me take my proposal to the next level. And so that's what you want to do, guys. You always want to be constantly evolving, constantly learning. And the fact of the matter is you cannot do that without asking for help. So I guess that's where I'll stop for right now. Um, actually taking a little break right now. Worked late. Um, knocked out some stuff this morning. So I'm actually about to head to the gym because I do believe in balance, especially with me having a desk job. So I'm about to head to the gym, but I'll try to check back in with you guys, if not later, then on another day with another lesson learned. All right, guys. See ya.